call aloud your Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Raka Kadash. Devil honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well, shallow and salutations. To the hopeful elect, the Aki Mouth that spread in the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth for sincerity and truth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice. All right. Enduring it to the end, man. Shalom to the Aki. All right. Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is the brother Yarmire from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. You know, I just finished up a lesson. And, you know, I figured I'd cut the camera on and go right back in, man, because something I said at the end of that, you know, at my outro, I had said that, um, you know, the Most High, how Bashim how Shaz are rewarded to them that diligently seek a man. It made me think about something, man. You know, you people, man, for years, man, you know, some, some more than others, but for the most part, you know, just the, 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 the undesirables, you know, the two-thirds of our people, and mostly Esau, you know, but Esau even, even got a little more inclined to just hear us and less scoffing, you know, they do they, they do their dirty work behind the keyboards, you know, using the N-word, calling us niggas and spicks and shit, and, you know, making stupid-ass joke, we were kings and kings and shit and all that dumb shit, and I, I think that's hilarious, you know, because inside we know they hurt, man, like the George Foreman punch to the fucking solar plex, to the gut, to the ribs, you just smoked. You, you, you people know the wind knocked out, not, not clean out of you, man. Just on the ground with your fucking noodle legs, coughing. You know, so you'll scoff, but you know, whatever it may be, man, the people don't realize, man, that this is not a test, man. The Most High is fixing to reward the prophets, man. He's setting everything up, man. He got us laboring. He got us enduring. He casting away the undesirables. You know, he weeding out and rooting out the men he don't want. You know, he's spinning their ass. He turning their ass right around. You know, fixing us up, man. Trimming the fat. You know, all the prophecies coming into play. This is the year of the Karagma. This year is almost over with, man. And uh, one more so-called month. You know, everything's falling into play, man. You know, World War Three is at, at that stage. All these end time prophecies, man, the wicked is heightened. Now more than ever, man. So, hey, basically it's time for the reward, man. And this, this is not a test, man. We went now here in vain, man. The labor and, and the things that we were doing, we, we about to reap the benefits of it. And how about Shemmy, how about You know, very soon the kingdom of heaven, man, is, is, is going to be glorious, glorious. All right, more, more than we can ever imagine. All right. So, um, basically, um, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, is going to reward us, man. This is not a test. This is what we've been preparing for. It says, um, this is Colossians 3 and 1. It said, if you were risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above, for Mashiach seated on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth, for you are dead, and your life is hid. With Mashiach and Yahweh. When Mashiach, who is our life, that's Yahweh Shah, all right, who is our life, shall appear in glory, then you shall also appear with him in glory, all right, because this is not a test, this is actually what we fixing for. We fixing to, 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 to be received by Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah, all right, because we presenting our bodies as living sacrifice. That's why he said in the book of Thessalonians to be found blameless, man. This is not a test. We fixing to be found blameless in every aspect. All right, we fixing to get uh, the sure mercies of uh, David. All right. Let me get the scripture real quick. Not in Ephesians. John, this is uh, this is Philippians 2. Alright. It says Philippians 2 and 12, it says, For wherefore my beloved, as ye always have obeyed, not in my presence only, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation and fear and trembling. For Yahweh, which worketh in you, both will do, will, Salaki, both to will and do of his good pleasure. 
do all things without mumblings and without disputings. And that's what we're doing. This, this is, you know, this is not a test. We fix it to receive the, the kingdom of heaven, man. That's why we're doing this work. We're working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Always having that fear. Y'all watching me, I shot before our eyes. Always having that faith. Always knowing that Satan, you know, go at the battles of royal lions, seeking who he may devour. That, um, you know, he desired a syphilis, like the Lord told Peter, man. All right? He could, have you considered my servant Job? The same flavor, man. We stand in the lot of our forefathers, the lots of our forefathers, man, and the spirit, man, and we, you know, the men of great millstone and like minded men, starting with the elders and the apostles on down. We are the only proof that's in the pudding today of the men that, that uh, have the attributes of what the prophets, the disciples, the apostles, all right, the high priests, the warriors was doing. Like we only have that 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 put to us, man. You know, you you people ain't doing shit that concerns Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah and his will. Alright? It says, do all things without mumblings and disputings, but this is our labor of love, man. This is our reasonable service. It said that ye may be blameless and harmless sons of Yahweh, without rebuke in the midst of the crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights and are all in of the Salaki in the world. We are those lights of the world, but I always say it's one thing about a light. It could be a beacon or it could be a blind. It can help you out of dark tunnel or it can blind your ass to turn you away. And that's what our light is to the people. To the elect, it's a beacon, a beacon of hope, you know. I don't mean to sound for shady. This is the only beacon of hope, this truth. The law of the Lord is, what the, the, the scripture say in Psalms, the law of the Lord is a lamp, a light. And search it out, man. This is the only beacon of hope we have, man. But this is not a test. The Lord is fixing to set us up. I mean, essentially, you know, it is the test because it's our proving grounds. But this is this is not something that's going to be ignored for long, man. This is the, the real deal. Holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Mashiach, that I have not run, run in vain, neither labored in vain. All right, yea, if I be offered upon the sacrifice in your service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. All right, because our forefathers, all right, the Apostle Paul, Hawashai, all the way back to Abraham, all the way down back to David and all, all these men ever desired was righteousness, salvation, and to be Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai's people. That's why the, the, the Bible said what? That that David was a man after Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai's own heart, man. This is all we desire, all right? As 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 the the, the 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 elect men, the hopeful elect men on this earth. This is all we desire, all right? Not, nothing else, all right? Because we actually understand this. We actually understand that America is not uh, the the last draw. It ain't the end all be all. We actually understand that it's more than this, and the more than this is ours, all right? So we know this is not just a thing we gather and do on Saturday. We mad at the white man. We mad at the black woman. You know, we, we just fucking some niggas on the street talking shit. No, we know that the kingdom of heaven is being established before our eyes. And this is nothing fake. This is the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah moving throughout the earth, all right? He got the two sticks standing upon their feet. He got the breath of life breathed in them. They got the spirit. They got the flesh on their bones, you know. The prophecies are speaking louder now more than ever. All right, we know that this is the real deal. Not a test, man. So like it says all throughout the scriptures, what amount of man ought you to be? How, how do you want to be found? You know, you want to be found blameless, man. When the Lord appears, man, you don't want to be found naked, man, all right, without a garment and be thrown out of the feast, man, the wedding. It's a lot. Let me check this time. I want to just cut off like, like BS cut off, you know. All right, we working for that, that crown of life. Speaking of that, this is Revelation 3, all right. This is Revelation 3 and verse, I think it's 11. 
come. This is Revelations 3 and 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And we don't want men to take our crown, man. We don't want women to take our crown. We don't want the elements of this earth, you know, to take away that rulership and that nobility and that honor that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh itself is going to bestow on us, man, if we endure to the end, man. Because once again, this is not a test, man. The Lord is righteous, man. He is rewarded to them that diligently seek him, man. So you brothers endure, man. Hopefully I endure to the end and all of us and we make it out this shithole together, man. And we can tell all the two-thirds and all the heathens, we told you so, man. But with that being said, call aloud me, how about you, now shy about you, double honor to the elders and apostles who taught us his word to the hopeful elect, shalom.